which contraceptive coil is right for you? Well, the coils known as IUDs in tutoring devices have been a fantastic development for contraception as well as controlling problematic vaginal bleeding. However, there are such a huge range of options available that it's almost less empowering because it can be so confusing to know which is best, especially when you're thinking about your contraception. I'm Dr. Brooke van der Molen, obstetrics and gynaecology doctor. This video is your guide to everything you need to know about the coils from how they're inserted and removed to which options are available. Here are some questions that you should ask yourself to begin with and help you make a decision. So firstly, are your periods an issue? Second, how soon do you want to conceive? Three, do you have PCOS or endometriosis or any of the side effects that accompany that? Four, do you have an issue with taking hormones? Five, how old are you? How far do you think you are away from the menopause? With the answer to these questions in mind, watch the rest of this video. As a general rule, I think the, the coil devices are brilliant and they can be an excellent choice for almost any woman. There are different versions available and they're likely to also change over time. But as of now, here are the important facts to help you choose which one is right for you. What are your options? Well, the coils currently on offer fall into two main categories, the IUD, intrauterine devices, and IUS, the intrauterine system. IUDs, known as the copper coil, made of plastic and copper. It's got no hormones. The IUS, or the hormonal coil, contains plastic and it releases a steady amount of the hormone progesterone into the womb. So how are these coils inserted? Well, both the IUD and the IUS are put in by a doctor or a nurse at a GP surgery or sexual health clinic or a family planning clinic. They may also be inserted by a gynecologist at the hospital if you're having other procedures. Now, before your IUD is fitted, the fitter should check inside the vagina for the position and the size of your womb. You might be tested for any existing infections such as an STI and they'll need to rule out that you're already pregnant. The appointment takes about 20 to 30 minutes and fitting the IUD should take no longer than five minutes. So what happens? Firstly, the vagina is held, o held open with a speculum, similar to when you have a smear test. We work out how long the uterus is and we adjust the marker so that we can't accidentally push too far. Then we load up the IUD and we release it into the center of the uterine cavity. When you remove the loading device, it stays in situ. It's as simple as that. Removal just means pulling on the strings and the IUD comes straight out and there you have it. Having an IUD fitted can be uncomfortable, but you can have a bit of local anaesthetic to help. So you should discuss this with your GP or the nurse beforehand. You might get some period type cramps afterwards. So you should take some painkillers before you have the procedure to help to ease those cramps when they come. You might also find that you bleed for a few days after having your IUD fitted and this is quite normal it should settle within a couple of days. After you've had an IUD fitted then you can check yourself for the thread position so you can feel the threads when it's around six weeks to make sure that everything is still fine and you can speak to your GP if you've got any problems or you've got any concerns or you want it removed. Sometimes your GP might arrange for an ultrasound scan just to confirm the position of the IUD if they're unsure. So here are some of the benefits. Well the coils are great if you regularly forget to take pills. But you should know that they can be taken out very easily by a doctor or nurse whenever you decide that you no longer want to have the device or you're planning to conceive. Another benefit is that your partner will not feel the coil during sex. Some men or people with a penis feel that they are aware of the threads during sex and if that happens you can ask for your threads to be trimmed so that they're um, quite up and out of the way but it shouldn't interfere with sex in any other way. How quickly do they work? Well the copper coil it's immediate. As soon as it put in, it's put in, you don't need any other contraception. If the Mirena or the JDS IUS is inserted before day five of your period, it's also effective immediately. If it's put in at any other time in the cycle, then you'd need to cover yourself with other contraception for seven days and then it becomes effective and reliable as contraception. These coils last around five to 10 years and they're not affected by any other medications or whether you have vomiting, diarrhea. They can also be inserted soon after birth and used if you're breastfeeding. So they can either be inserted within 48 hours of when you give birth, or you should wait about four weeks from the time of birth and then you can have a coil inserted. It's safe to use this IUD or IUS when you're breastfeeding and it's not gonna affect your milk supply. So let's think more about the non-hormonal or the copper coil. Now, many people these days are concerned about the effects of taking extrinsic hormones as contraception for a long period of time. So if you are looking for a hormone-free option, then actually the copper coil is a fantastic choice for you. It contains no hormones, it doesn't have any benefits on your periods. And some people, especially if they've previously been on contra hormonal contraception for many years, and they don't really know what their natural cycles are like, feel that their periods are heavier than before when they have a copper coil in situ. You might also notice some spotting during your cycle, but most people find the side effects all improve within the first six months of use. This type of IUD lasts for five to 10 years, depending on the type. So let's come back to those questions. So are your periods an issue? Well, if they are already problematic, they're painful, they're heavy, copper coil may not be the best choice for you. 
Now, how soon do you want to conceive? If you know you're planning to conceive in the next you know, one to two years, it's a great option because it doesn't have any lasting effects on your periods. Now, do you have PCOS or endometriosis or any of those side effects? If you do, I don't think the copper coil is the best choice for you. Now, do you have a, an issue with taking hormones? As I said before, if you'd rather not take them, again, the copper coil is a good hormone free option. How far away are you from the menopause? Well, actually with this question, it doesn't matter because the copper coil is a good choice for any age group. How effective is it? Well, the IUD is more than 99% effective. Now, how it works is that it's made of plastic and copper. The copper alters the cervical mucus and that makes it more difficult for the sperm to reach the egg and survive. And the physical aspect of having that coil there can also impact on the sperm's ability to pass. It can also stop a fertilized egg from being able to implant itself. Now, when the IUD is removed, a woman can get pregnant immediately as long as, and so it doesn't have any lasting effect on her fertility. Now, what are the main disadvantages? As I said before, periods may become more heavy, longer, or more painful. It doesn't protect you against STIs, none of the coils do. And if you do get an infection at the time you have it fitted, it could lead to a pelvic infection if it's not treated. But the most people that stop using the copper coil do so because of vaginal bleeding and pain, although these side effects are not that common. Next up, the hormonal coils. So Mirena or the JDS you may have heard of. Now this is something that we as gynecologists recommend on an almost daily basis, not just as contraception, but also as treatment for a number of gynae issues. The key benefits is that they can make your periods lighter, shorter, and less painful. And some people have no periods at all, especially if they've been using these coils for a while. You may get irregular bleeding, which is not harmful and tends to improve over time, but it's a bit of a nuisance. So it's worth seeking advice if this happens. So coming back to those questions, your period's an issue. Well, actually, if you've got heavy or painful periods, the Mirena may be a great choice to help with those symptoms as well. You know how soon you want to conceive? Now, it, it, they are easily reversible. So when you take the Mirena out, that it does reverse. So it doesn't have any long-term effects on your, on your fertility, but it ha can have thinned the endometrium and it can take a bit of time for your periods to pick back up again if you're planning to conceive very soon. And do you have PCOS or endometriosis? Or If you'd rather not have periods because they're, they're a problem for you, then the, this, this type of coil could be a great choice. Obviously, if you don't like hormones, it's not a good idea to get a hormonal co coil. And thinking about if you're close to the menopause, if you're over 45, you might already be experiencing worsening periods as you approach the menopause. And actually the Mirena could be a really good option to help ease that. And it can also suit you if you're planning to take HRT because having the Mirena in place when you have the HRT can protect your womb from endometrial cancer. How effective is it? Same as the copper coil, more than 99% effective. So how does it work? Well, this device releases a small amount of the progestogen hormone, which thickens the fluid around the cervix and it prevents the sperm getting to an egg. It also makes the lining of your womb nice and thin so that a fertilized egg can't settle and grow. But as the lining of the womb doesn't grow and thicken each month, you don't necessarily need to have a period to shed and replenish that lining. The IUS contains a lower level of hormones than you might find in other hormonal methods of contraception. And those hormones are focused in the womb rather than having a generalized effect around your whole body. So you get less side effects of progesterone like the bloating or weight gain or acne that progesterone is known to cause. It doesn't cause infertility or affect your fertility in any lasting way because your fertility returns to normal after your oil is taken out. If your periods aren't regular again by six months of trying to conceive, then you should see your doctor to discuss that further. Another benefit is you don't need to have a period if you don't want one. After 12 months, most users actually only have a light bleed for about one day a month and one in five users of the, the Mirena Quill don't have any bleeding of, at all. This is because it keeps the womb lining nice and thin so you don't need to have that shedding and also it protects your womb from endometrial cancer by keeping the lining thin and not becoming excessively thick. Another benefit is it can last five years before you need to change it and it's long acting. So again, you don't have to remember to take something like a tablet every day. And what are the main disadvantages? Well, your bleeding may become more irregular, which can be a nuisance. Some people do still experience the headaches, acne and breast tenderness that progesterone causes. And others also may complain about changes in mood or libido, but these changes are relatively small. Hormonal coil, like the copper coil, doesn't protect you against STIs. So you'd still need to use condoms for that. And most people that stop using an IUS do so because of vaginal bleeding and pain, but this is less common. Now, what are the different types? Well, there's currently two main types of hormonal coil available in the UK, the Mirena and the JDS. Now, the Mirena is licensed for contraception as well as heavy periods and as part of HRT, and it protects against endometrial cancer when it's combined with HRT, and it's used for four to five years. The JDS is only licensed for contraception. It's physically smaller than the Mirena, and it's got a lower dose of the hormone, and it's used for up to three years. So there we have it. 
We've discussed hormonal and non-hormonal coil options. Let me know if this video has helped you to make up your mind and don't forget to subscribe for more women's health information that you never got taught at school.